Okay, for today, you need to learn about three uh, respiratory system. Okay, kita kena belajar tiga sistem respirasi. For the first system is a moist skin, kulit lembab. The animal is frog. What you know about frog? Apa yang kamu tahu tentang kata? Amphibian. Yes, it is an amphibian. What does it mean, amphibian? Dia boleh hidup. Ikan dan air. Ikan dan air. Okay, very good. Very good. Frog can live in the water and also in the land. Okay, so basically, it can live in the two. Ah, in the two. In the two nature, right? So basically, moist skin is a thin, nipis. And very permeable. Say class. Permeable. 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 Okay, very permeable means mudah diserap. Jika ada nipis, gas tu mudah diserap dan dikeluarkan. Gas oksigen dan gas kabel dioksida. Always moist. What does it mean? Always moist. Selalu lembab. Okay, selalu lembab. Always wet. Okay. Dense blood capillaries under the skin. Okay, for your information, untuk pengajaran kamu, kata-kata ni di bawah kulit dia terlalu banyak jaringan-jaringan capillary -jaringan darah. What is the function of capillary? Apakah fungsi capillary? Yeah, very good. To transport the oxygen from the lung to the cells. Untuk mengangkut oksigen daripada paru ke seluruh sel-sel badan. So basically, frog has two. One is a lung, satu paru, satu lagi. Yes, moist skin. Okay, moist skin and the lung. So frog has two respiratory system. Human, how many respiratory one. system? One. Only one. It is a lung. Yeah. Okay, number two is gills. Say class. Gills. 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 So if you see S, mean it is a gills. Oh, many. many. So. Uh, fish has many filament. Okay, uh, in some ikan tu kalau kamu tengok ada banyak macam filament tu. Because setiap filament tu ada lamella. Okay, si kelas lamella. Lamella. Okay, if you want further clarification, kalau kamu nak lebih gambaran yang jelas, kamu boleh rujuk dalam buku teks. Okay, air akan melalui lamella. Water will passing through the lamella, and uh, during the passing through. The oxygen and carbon dioxide will be exchanged. Semasa air itu melalui insang, air air mengandungi apa? Oksigen. Air mengandungi oksigen. H2O. Air ada oksigen dan air oksigen akan diserap ke dalam lamina dan seterusnya ke seluruh badan ikan. Okay. Yang ketiga ialah C class. Trachea. 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 Okay, an example of the trachea is grasshopper. What is grasshopper? Lala. Lala, yeah? What sport house using the grasshopper as a mascot? Satria. What is here? Satria. Satria, yeah? Greenhouse. Okay, greenhouse. Green sport house using grasshopper. Grasshopper is lala. Grasshopper is lala. Okay, grasshopper ni, dia tak guna peparu. Dia tak guna... Uh, insang dia tak guna kulit lembab dia menggunakan satu sistem yang kita panggil sebagai trakia trakia ni dia ada di dalam badan dia di bawah badan uh, belalang okey terdapat banyak lubang-lubang lubang okey under the body of the grasshopper they has a lot of hole eh, ada banyak lubang yang mana dia boleh ambil oksigen di dalam badan kata ni juga terdapat pundi air sac sebut kelas air sac ni pundi udara so dia boleh simpan udara dalam badan dan kemudian dia lompat betul tak? selalunya keras open dia akan lompat kan? bila dia lompat sebenarnya dia dah simpan dalam badan dia satu uh, kandungan udara yang banyak air sac pundi udara ok jadi trachea has a thin apa maksud has a thin? Okay, mempunyai uh, sistem terakhir yang sangat nipis Then, moist wall Moist wall, what does it mean? Dinding yang lembab Yes, dinding yang lembab Tak boleh dinding kering Cannot dry wall It must be a moist skin Okay, so this is the characteristic of the moist skin Gills and trachea To that increase gases exchange